in this question a voltage waveform is given uh, it is called a sawtooth waveform because this uh, shape resembles like the teeth of a saw and we have to calculate the average and uh, uh, rms value of this waveform let us first calculate the full cycle average of this waveform that is the average height of this waveform over a complete cycle and how much that will be that is equal to the total area under this graph over a complete cycle divided by the total time period and now the, the total area under one complete cycle is sum of the area of this triangle plus the area of this triangle now the area of this first triangle is equal to half into height 1 into base 1 that this is the area of this triangle plus I have to add the area of this triangle which will be again half into height now height is negative minus 1 into base 1 so this is the area of the second triangle now this total area I will divide this by 2 the total time period okay and uh, so therefore this will be equal to 0 because this area and this area they are equal and opposite opposite in sign so full cycle average definitely will be equal to 0 similarly we can also calculate half cycle average that is the average over uh, the positive half cycle only and how much that will be for that we will consider only the area of this positive half and we will divide that area by the uh, width of this positive half to get the average height so now the area of this triangle is half into height 1 into base 1 divided by the base that is half of the time period which is 1 so this is in volt this will be equal to uh, half half volt that is the half cycle average now let us calculate the rms value for that uh, let us first write this voltage as v equal to 1 minus t this is the expression of the voltage in this first cycle Okay, so from here to here between time 0 and time 2 2 seconds this is the expression of the voltage now therefore uh, v square will be equal to 1 minus t whole square therefore mean squared value over the first uh, cycle will be equal to integration of v square dt from time 0 to capital T then whole divided by the total time period T now this will be equal to uh, 1 minus T whole square integrated from 0 to capital T then whole divided by capital T okay so this is equal to if you uh, expand this square and carry out the integration uh, you will have 1 integration of 1 is t then t squared uh, integration of t squared will be t cube by 3 and then minus 2t so integration of that will be minus 2t squared minus 2t squared by 2 and then put the limits from 0 to capital T then whole divided by capital T now time period capital T is equal to 
two for us, so they, they put two everywhere. And then if you put the values, this will come out to be equal to one third. So this is the mean squared value. So therefore, R M S value will be square root of one by three. Okay. So that is the R M S value. Now, finally, let us calculate the form factor of this function or uh, this voltage wave form. Form factor is given by the RMS value by the half cycle average value okay? uh, and therefore this will be equal to uh, if you divide 1 by root 3 with half you will get 2 by root 3 there is no point uh, in dividing the RMS value by full cycle average value because uh, full cycle average value is 0 and you cannot divide by 0. So form factor for uh, this kind of symmetric waveforms is always defined as RMS divided by half cycle average value. So this is the answer. Actually, we could have solved this problem uh, more easily. First, uh, consider the negative of this function, which will look like this. Okay. So, I am just multiplying this function with minus 1 and then it will look like this green colored function. And in this process, the RMS value is not changed because even if I multiply a function with minus 1, when I square it, the minus 1 will have no effect. So instead of calculating the RMS value of this original function, I can calculate the RMS value for this uh, negative of the original function and it will be the same. Next, instead of considering the this point as t equal to 0, I can also consider uh, this point as t equal to 0, this point as t equal to 1, this is as t equal to 2, 3 and so on. I am just shifting the origin of this graph, changing the, uh, uh, shifting the time axis and in this process the RMS value will not change at all. So therefore instead of calculating the RMS value of this original function, I can calculate the RMS value of this function, this green function, uh, considering this as my or, uh, uh, or it, this is the origin time t equal to 0. Now notice then this modified function is very much similar to uh, the function which we uh, the, uh, which we have seen in our previous question and for this function we saw that the uh, mean squared value was k1 squared by 3 and therefore in this question here k1 is equal to uh, 1 okay so if i just put k1 equal to 1 then the mean squared value will be 1 squared by 3 that is 1 third and uh, therefore the RMS value will be square root of this so which will be 1 uh, uh, 1 by root 3 this is the RMS value okay so this is a, another way of solving this problem much more easily.